Hey, what's up YouTube land? It's your boy Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing some Toy Story random figures and a figure from the new movie Lightyear. So yes, we're gonna look at each and every figure we're going to start with the brand new figure from Lightyear because that's brand new. I just opened it out of the package and I could not wait to mess around with the figure. It says Disney's Pixar's Lightyear, Buzz Lightyear. He is a Space Ranger, Alpha. A bunch of other languages if you want to read them. Got a product shot of Buzz and a bio if you want to read it. And pictures of the other figures in the line to collect. And even more information. And that's all there is to say for the packaging. Let's look at Buzz. And Buzz looks really well painted, really well sculpted. But this version of Buzz, you can actually see his hair, which is pretty cool. Not bad for a new figure, huh? Articulation is really good. Head is on a hinge, on a slight ball joint, but he's a tight ball joint. His weapon, his light sword, can go on his, sh on his side right here. He does have hinges. He gets so much articulation out of this figure, which is pretty cool. Same with the legs, but I'm afraid I'm going to break them because the artic the uh, joints are really tough. So I got to make it very simple with the articulation. He can kick out that far, kick back that far, and he can wield his light sword and be like, take this, Zerg. Slice through anything with that, which is pretty cool. This is really well painted and really well sculpted for a new version of everyone's favorite Toy Story character. And that's what I loved about Buzz when I was a kid back in the uh, mid-2000s because I grew up with Toy Story 1 and 2. And this is probably way better than the Buzz Lightyear and Star Command Buzz Lightyear hands down. I love this Buzz. He is definitely going to go on my shelf. That's all there is to say for Mr. Lightyear. Let's get down to the other figures we got. What Toy Story collection would it be complete without a Bo Peep to go on your Toy Story collection? And yeah, she's a doll, but when you press this button here, new town, new kids. she makes noise, which is pretty cool. Yeah, this is a pretty cool toy that makes a lot of noise. I just love this Bo Peep. Sure, she doesn't have any articulation at the legs, but her arms, on the other hand, are articulated. So you can get some good movement out of them, which is pretty cool. And I remember Bo Peep from the original Toy Story 1 when I was just a kid. And head is on a ball joint, which there is so much to love about this figure. That's why this figure is definitely going in my Toy Story collection. Next on the list, we're going to look at Mr. Potato Head. Whoops, his legs came off. <laughs> Good old Mr. Potato Head. Because what Toy Story collection in my room wouldn't be complete without the grump himself, 
Mr. Potato Head. He doesn't make noise or anything, but he's going to make a good display piece with the mustache and be like, I'll help you, Buzz. That's all there's to say for Mr. Potato Head. No ball joints or anything, no hinged legs, but he does get some movement. Probably wondering, why is he missing ears? Because I couldn't find his ears in the outlet at all for my Mr. Potato Head. Otherwise, he's mostly there and going in my collection. Now let's look at the other figures we got random here. We got this Sonic the Hedgehog. I think this is an original Sonic the Hedgehog figure. But it's transparent. It must be a super rare figure by all standards, because I don't know where this figure is from and what year it's from. If you know about this particular Sonic and you have the information about him, please tell me. I don't know anything about this particular Sonic except for he's Sonic the Hedgehog. Next on the list, we got this uh, Rainbow Dash My Little Pony figure. She's kind of cute, and that's why I'm putting her on this random figure review with the Toy Story stuff and Lightyear. Because, man, she just looks adorable. And I love me some adorable looking figures. Next on the list, we got this horse. I know where this is from. It's from that movie Spirit, and that's the main horse that the uh, horse named Spirit falls in love with. Which is kind of neat. I've never had a figure of her before. And she has been slightly damaged, but otherwise, she's completely there. I'm just going to display her from the side like this so you don't notice the damage figure. Next on the list, we got this figure from the movie Onwards. And I did just watch the movie, so I know something about this. This is the dad character from the movie Onwards. He's got some wiggle wobbly looseness. But other than that, I don't know anything about him. Except that he's a cool looking flex kind of guy. Last two figures we have. We got this weird firefighter. I remember my fellow reviewer that I talked to. Retro 80's Burt found one of these with a fire truck. I found one loose, so... You, Bert, I actually found one of those firefighter guys that you found. But I found him without the fire truck, which is kind of neat. Ready to save the day. That's my firefighter impression. And of course, we got another military, this military guy I have as well. He's a pilot, so he's ready. Let's go fly away to the danger zone. Couldn't help that. If you like this video, make sure to like, make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And I enjoyed making this video for you and showing off figures I got from the Goodwill outlet. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.